Sorry. Minnesota apple orchards are seeing bumper crops this fall. So it is a great time to use them in your recipes. Mm -hmm. I spent a little time in the Cambria kitchen with Whole Foods chef Annie Loizo, who shows us how to make a great dessert with apples. I love apples, but this time of year you have so many of them, you want something kind of creative to do with it. Absolutely, and we have lots of great options for things to do with apples. Um, we have many different local varieties. Cool, what is this recipe we're gonna do today? So this is cranberry walnut baked apples, an easy dessert that looks great on the table but takes almost no time at all. Awesome, how do we start? So we are going to start by choosing the right apple. You want something that has great flavor, not too sweet, not too tart, and that is nice and firm so it doesn't fall apart in the oven. Cool. And we are going to peel and core our apples. All right. An apple core, of course, perfect tool for the job. You just want to twist the fruit around the core, and then the core will come right out. Magic. There you go. That's pretty slick. And this is a Fuji apple? This is a Fuji apple, a great all-purpose apple for any type of cooking dish. I find an easy trick for peeling is move the fruit. Oh, look Don't at move that. the peeler. I peel a lot of apples. I've never <laughs> done that. And these are such a great snack for kids. Um, they are a great apple to keep around the house. They have a really long shelf life. Perfect. So you peel it halfway mm -hmm. and now you've got this hole which is just ready for some delicious It's ready for some cranberries and walnuts. These are just uh, dried cranberries? Dried cranberries mm -hmm. and walnuts. You could use pecans. You could use pistachios. Sure, you have whatever lots you like. of different options. Great. Our cooking liquid is a mixture of cranberry juice, some maple syrup, a little bit of cinnamon, and um, some ginger. This is our cranberry this juice. This is it. This our is, maple syrup. Do we pour it ginger. in there or just around? Yep, we can pour it right over the top. And um, a little chef tip with this recipe too, it can be hard to get cinnamon and cornstarch and things like that to mix into liquids. So add that to your maple syrup first and then add the rest of your ingredients and it will come together very easily. I only made a little mess. That's part of the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Cover them with foil, pop them in the oven, and when they're nice and tender, you're done. How long did this bake? This baked for about 45 minutes. Okay, the house smells beautiful now. Mm -hmm. And look at that, those are so pretty. That would be great, perfect for a potluck or just a nice dinner at home celebrating fall. It smells so good. Mm, the spices and the cranberry have infused into the apples. It's a great healthy dessert. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. That's great. It tastes like dessert. Yeah. But it's not overly sweet. That was really good. Yummy. Really good. Mm -hmm. You're just apple, laughing. Right? What is so funny, Nina? I'm know, enjoying a delicious <laughs> apple. I just think you're funny because oh. I love you. She's laughing at you, Jason. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. fine. That's fine then. So, <laughs> Whole Foods has Fuji apples on sale this week. So, okay. Fuji is one of. Fuji or the uh, the green, uh, uh, what are those Granny green Smith? ones? Uh, I don't know, I forgot the name of them. Oh, but the, oh. You want to make sure the apple is firm enough that if you're going to core it and stuff it with some stuff that it won't like fall apart when Makes you put sense. it in the oven. Okay. Uh, luckily, we have the answer to this question, which I've forgotten online at <laughs> wc0.com slash links.